What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of our NFL Picks. Uh, week... Nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. Week nine. Uh, week nine. Honestly, I probably wouldn't even know it's week nine unless we made these videos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before we get started, uh, if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell right next to the subscribe button. You get notified of all of our newest content. You guys don't miss a thing. We're pumping out like two videos a week. It's a good time to be a part of our Aloha life, and we thank you for joining us here today. Yep. Uh, moving on. Let's get started. Jump right into it. Um, Just but, quickly, one of our lights went out, so if the oh, lighting yeah. looks a little different, hey. Hoppa's messing with the tripod again. This is our life. Um, but yeah, two. Yeah, we're working with one light today, <laughs> yeah. so yeah, it might look a little we're bit doing different. doing what we can. We're trying to make it. So yeah. last week, I did extremely well. Uh, I got 13 for 14 right. The only game that I got wrong 13 was... 13 and 1, guys. She was 13 and 1 last week. That's pretty impressive, especially for me. Hoppa, could you like yeah, not? Yeah, okay, hold on. The only game that I was wrong about was the Seahawks-Lions game. I pretty much said it was going to come back, come down to who was a better quarterback. And you rolled your eyes, and you made a face, and he was right. No! <laughs> he did. Or at least you wanted to. <laughs> I went on to say, oh no, if it's about the receivers he has then you're right you made it about who he has to i did to. but i also said it's about who is the best quarterback really it's hard to say i mean i was what was i 12 no 12 11. for 14. oh yeah 11 for 14 sorry 11 for 14 but you can't really count the jets bears i kind of did that just to throw it off but we'll count it anyway whatever anyway um yeah all right moving on so she's she's i've definitely rubbed off on her she's definitely not Picking. This is only the second week, so we'll we'll see going into the third week of, if I'm doing better. Of, of doing know. well. Of doing well. Of All doing right. Well. Game one, Thursday night, Raiders 49ers. Uh, it's the Battle of the Bay. That sounds hard. Hmm. The 49ers just lost to the Cardinals, but there's I, no but. <laughs> I, th I think the Raiders will be able to get the win here away. Um, they're playing at Levi Stadium. But, yeah, I don't know. For some reason... For some reason, I want to say the 49ers. All right. Because of Marquise Goodwin. Yeah, he had a good play last week. Okay, good play. One play. <laughs> I, yeah. So, because of one play... Just because of one play, All right. I'm choosing the 49ers. All right. First game I'm looking at here is beer, <laughs> Bears and Bills. Oh. Bills and Bears. Uh, playing in New Air, at New Era Field. Uh, let's see. There's really no question I'm picking the Bears. Yeah. Because I think they'll be able to do because the this team makes me drink. You can't, you can't see, see it. the bottom of it, but it says this team. Makes me drink. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, um, it does. yeah. I think it's not like the Bears aren't a cold weather team. I feel like they'll be able to get it done here outdoors. Uh, weather won't be a problem. So yeah, we just have Derek Anderson, so and else. then he was just not doing the job, and then they threw in Nathan Peterman, and he had two for two, and what like I, I forget how many they yards threw, they threw Nathan Peterman in. Yeah. I guess you're right. He can't he's he was yeah, two three two. And twenty three yards. Regardless, I'm still picking the bears. Okay. Alright, Chiefs Browns. Uh, could it be any more obvious? Uh Chiefs taking the win in this one. Yeah. Uh yeah. Browns. But the Browns did just fire Hugh Hugh Jackson and Todd Haley, so I'm interested to see where they're gonna go offensively. I mean, I can't imagine them being Who's Todd Haley? Todd Haley? Yeah. Isn't, wasn't he the offensive coordinator? Alright. <laughs> just checking, me? just testing you, just testing you. <laughs> but I'm curious to see how, how they're gonna how they're gonna play. Because who's gonna make it actually who's in our Okay, you're curious to see you're curious to see enough that they're gonna beat the Chiefs? Oh no, they're definitely okay, not, right. they're not gonna they're not gonna beat the Chiefs, but I'm curious to see because of the coaching the coaching change if it'll improve them or not because they haven't picked up anybody yet though. right oh, you mean but like... the chiefs defense isn't all that great okay. so i want to see how their offense plays okay all right just Dolphins. <laughs> mm, playing in miami here i think miami will be able to get the win i'm gonna go with them too um honestly i don't have much to say about this game i feel like brock is if i didn't have to pick it i wouldn't but oh my goodness <laughs> All right, let's go Jets. Oh, let's oh, go Jets. Jets. Let's go Jets. Are you I don't sure? Know. Yeah, I are just, you sure? I you took the Jets over the Bears last. They week. might be able to do this one. This is a divisional matchup. They play each other a lot. They see each other a lot. So exactly, I feel but like, they're in Florida. And no, but okay. I don't know. You can pick Jets and lose. All right, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Whatever. Being all cocky now. <laughs> <laughs> Lions and Vikings 
Adam Thielen, seven consecutive games Ew. with a uh, with 100 yards receiving. Eight games consecutive, 100 yards. Uh, going for the ninth game here. Could, I hope he could be the NFL record all time all time NFL record. Megatron uh, has the record. It's tied with eight consecutive games as well. But uh, Megatron is that's between two different seasons. Uh, it's not to start the mm -hmm. season, which is why Thielen has the eight game consecutive hundred yards to start the season. So, uh, yeah, Vikings in this one get the win here at home. Same. Uh, yeah, what he said. Vikings as well. <laughs> Moving on, Falcons and Redskins playing at Washington. 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 Uh, wow, Washington's five and two. Yeah. They just picked so, up Ha Ha Clinton Dix, right? I believe so. And Adrian Peterson is uh, running the sh running sh running the ball very strong. That's what he's questionable right now, though, and it's mm. still up for debate if he's going to be playing. What's the problem? Um, yeah, he's going to be fine. I mean, he barely practices, so he can be he can be right. He's questionable. Good on game, so whenever on game I, whenever I see players questionable, it always makes me. Kind of think of the worst, like maybe they'll be out for half the game, or maybe they're only gonna play a quarter or something. So then I try and determine. What? I don't know. What? Can I just can I just think the way that Wait, I think? Why please? would that? Why would they just play a quarter of the game? You mean if they're questionable and they get or, and they go and play and, and then they, they get, get injured, injured in the same in the same questionable right. injury? Or you mean when yeah. you got? Or you mean when you got all upset about? Uh, Tyler Boyd getting injured. Oh my in god, I was game. so. Then he came back to have a great week, and you won your matchup, didn't you? Not. I did. I did. I had the biggest bitch fit on Sunday when I saw that Tyler Boyd was injured. I thought he was out for the whole game, and I was like, she was "Oh like, no!" This is why I hate fantasy football. You I never do. know. I hate fantasy sometimes. You never know if he's gonna be. Out. I hate when I lose. You should be. You should be able to if, if your guy gets injured. You should be able to just put somebody else in. Well, why couldn't you? You can do it in a normal game, anyway. That's fantasy football. I hate the player. I don't it's hate the game. Stupid. All right, so I'm gonna pick Redskins in this one. Same. Let's get the W. Washington. Bucks. Panthers. Panthers. Fitz Magic. Mm. Is Fitz Magic? Yeah, he's starting over. James no, Wilson no, now. I know, I know, but is 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 there still magic? I don't know. Mm. I think he maybe just had a really good game. Cam Newton having a career year. Mm. Um, I feel like this is going to be a Panther win at home. Um, you guys have heard I have Cam Newton. I have Run CMC, Christian McCaffrey. Um, yeah, I think I also have Devin Funches. But my wide receiver core is stacked this week. Adam Thielen, Mike Evans. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think the Panthers get the win here at home. Um, Same. Yeah, it should be a good game, though. Yeah. Steelers Ravens divisional matchup tough. They always play each other. This is one of the greatest rivalries in in the NFL. Um, hmm. This one's tough. Oh, Le'Veon Bell's not coming back, but I just saw on online that um, uh, Connor has more rushing yards than he, he did last he year. Did. Yeah, they yeah. don't they don't they don't include the receiving yards when they give you that stat. Mm -hmm. All purpose yards is where it's at with Le'Veon, but. but Hey, I'm six and two without him. It's all good. Let's go. Is he still on your bench? Still on the bench. <laughs> He's keeping it nice Just and warm. Just waiting. Yeah, <laughs> nice real warm, warm, dude. I mean, shoot, there's four weeks left. I've but gone through 67 percent of the season without you. The argument is, though, if he were to come back, would he even? Yeah, perform? exactly. So it's time so... to. It's time to. It might be time I, I to. I don't drop really the see spot. him playing this season, to be honest, because he's up for free agency next yeah, season, right? He's trying so to... he doesn't want to get injured. Oh. Franchise tag, franchise tag, franchise tag, franchise tag, franchise tag, save money. Anyway, Steelers, Ravens, I'm going to pick the Steelers here, getting the win away, mm. Big Ben. Oh, this is a tough pick. <sighs> I want to say Steelers too, because I haven't really seen much from Flacco. What do you say? I don't know, because I don't know how to pronounce It's Flacco, that. yeah, from Flacco and... Yeah, so I think I'm going to say the Steelers as well. It's because they seem to be doing pretty well, and... I felt bad about that pick until she picked the Steelers as well, and then it said, we can't lose. I can't lose. So if we both have what do you mean you felt bad about that? Because I was like, if she picks the Ravens, that could be one I lose, you know, and one that you get. Oh, oh but... well, that's going to be the Jets-Dolphins game, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Texans-Broncos. Demarius Thomas, my boy DT, traded uh, to the Texans just yeah. a couple days ago on the trade, trade deadline. Um, ironically, he faces the Broncos. <laughs> he can't even say it. It's that upsetting. Ironically, he faces the Broncos this week. Um, 
Right after you guys traded from them. Got this, is a good, this is, I mean, this is a good game here. I feel like this is a, this is going to be a good one. Deshaun Watson, of course, playing great football. Uh, I'm going to say the Texans. I, I think... I'm going to say the Broncos. Yeah, no, I think our defense, our pass rush, uh, the speed that we bring will be able to contain Deshaun. Um, and with the absence of Will Fuller, I doubt Demarius will have a full workload. Um, they will only, you know, primarily have um, De uh, DeAndre Hopkins to throw mm -hmm. to. Um, and I think Chris Harris, Justin Simmons, and Darian Story can hold that. You don't think Demarius? No fly zone, baby. Broncos, let's go. Okay. Mile high mania. I'm still going with the Texans because. Right. Chalk it up as an L for her. Let's move on. Chargers, Seahawks. Cocky. Just kidding. Chargers, Seahawks. This is a tough one. Not really. I'm going with Chargers. <laughs> <laughs> the Chargers are really freaking good. Like, shockingly good. I don't, I don't know what else to say. I'm not Even aware though, of how strong that defensive unit is. Okay, you don't have to be. Seattle at home with the 12th man. It's hard to win there. Especially if it's cold. I hope it's cold. I'm going to say Seattle. Okay. Gets the win here at home in the 12th man. Oh, Ram. Yeah, Ram and Saints. Saints. It's a good one. It's going to be a good one. Uh, tough one here. Yeah, Cooper Cup's back. But I'm still going to go with the Rams. I love the Rams. The Rams. Cooper Cup is back. Yeah, he is back. Um... Yeah, I feel like the Rams have a way better defensive unit than New Orleans does. Uh, they're playing indoors here, weather not a factor, um, just the way Drew Brees likes it. But this could easily be a 38-41 game. game. Yeah, 38-35 game, something like that. Um, I'm going to say, you said Rams? I'm going to say Rams. I'm going to say Rams as well. I think it's just yeah. they're just a more well-rounded unit. Um, and I think... One of the better matchups would be in this next game here in the Packers versus the Patriots. Uh, now, although the, Packers, although the Packers' record not, not showing how strong of a, a team they are, uh, I feel like this could arguably be, you know, this is a playoff matchup for sure. I'm going to pick... This is tough. It's at home. I'll take the Patriots. Brady versus Rodgers. This is, yeah, must-see TV. I'm glad it's on Sunday night. I was just going to ask if that was the Sunday night game. Yeah, I'll actually be able to see it. Moving on, Monday night, Titans-Cowboys. In Dallas. This one's, this one's kind of tough. Let's go Super Mariota. You We're just get love it done. Marcus. No, I think, I think they'll be able to get it done here, though. Um, coming, off, coming off a rest. I believe they had a bye last week coming off the rest. So uh, the Cowboys. That's true. So do the Cowboys. A, so I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Okay, Titans. We'll see what happens. All right. Thanks, guys, for joining us. We appreciate uh, you tuning in for another episode of our NFL Picks. We hope to see you guys next week. Uh, we just dropped another vlog, right? We just dropped. Oh, uh, we just uploaded a mukbang. A, a mukbang, yeah. A Jesse. muk, muk, mukbang. That it's was a, on what, Tuesday or Wednesday? Uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. It was so on Tuesday. Check that I'll one out. I'll link it up. It's pretty fun. So, yeah. yeah. See you guys soon. Thank you for joining us. Shoots. Bye. Aloha.